welcome to the March edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego. I'm Caitlin Schindler. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So today we're going to be making a crystal ball bubble. Very, very cool. I'm going to tell you what you need for this experiment, but remember you can find a list of all these materials on our website at www.rhfleet.org. Okay, so here's what you need. You're going to need a glass jar here, and you're going to fill it halfway with warm water. Okay. You're also going to be needing some dish soap, a piece of cloth that we've cut actually out of an old t-shirt. Mm -hmm. um, this is about 18 inches long and just about one inch across. Um, we need some gloves. And we're also going to be picking up some dry ice that you can pick up at a grocery store, a drugstore, things like that. You want to tell us a little bit about the dry ice? Sure. Okay. Let's talk about safety first. So. Make sure that a grown-up helps you with this. First of all, you need to be 18 to buy dry ice, so you're going to need a grown-up to help you out. We never want to touch dry ice with our bare fingers. You always want to wear heavy gloves because dry ice is not regular ice. Regular ice is about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Dry ice is about minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit. It is so cold that it will actually burn your skin if you touch it with your bare hands. So. Always wear gloves and you need an adult to do this. You also might want to do it somewhere that can get messy, like a sink, because you're probably going to end up with some wa soapy water everywhere. Science is messy. But fun. All right. All right. Sounds Take good. Take it away, Brandon. OK, so basically, we've, like I said in the materials, we've got everything here. We've filled our jar here to about halfway with warm water. We've got that piece of cloth here that we've cut from a t-shirt made it nice and long here and we've got our water solution with some soap and I'm gonna add a little bit more just kinda get it going lots of soap bubbles is very very good for this experiment you okay? can never have too much soap never too much so we're just gonna mix that up right there and I'm going to put a little bit of green food coloring there we go in our bucket right there because it's March it is March we're going with green okay All right, there we go and now we're pretty well set so what's our next five okay step? so once we've got this all set we've got we're ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is add some dry ice. So any predictions what might happen when we drop this into our liquid? Uh, it's going to melt. Okay. Like ice does, right? I, that's true. Regular ice does melt when you put it in water. Let's see what happens to our dry ice. Okay. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. Very nice bubbling. So our dry ice is in fact solid carbon dioxide and it has a bit of a different reaction when we put it into water. So let's get another chunk in there, make sure it's really going. And now we are ready to make our crystal ball. Okay. So we're going to take this cloth strip, and since you've done this before, I'm going to have you do it. All we're right. We're going to take this cloth strip out of the soap, make sure it's nice and covered in soap, really nice and soapy, mm -hmm. right? And then I think you were showing me we're going to cover the... Uh, the rim. With yeah, you soap want to make sure water. that the rim is really covered in that soapy solution. Okay, is that good? And then we're going to take our nice, oh, let's dip it one more time just to be sure. All so right. it's soaking wet, full of that soapy solution. We're going to draw it right across the top. Look at that. And look at that. So we can see that our solid carbon dioxide is not, whoa, Boom. there it goes. And then you can just do it again. Our solid carbon dioxide is not in fact melting. It is sublimating. It is turning right into a gas. That's, you see these bubbles being formed right here by our, car our carbon dioxide. And in fact, this fog that you see is that gaseous carbon dioxide along with water vapor that forms this lovely fog that rises up, fills our bubble, Kind of looks like a crystal ball. And yep, we make our crystal ball. Ooh, tell me my future. <laughs> and we've got the uh, gas is trying to escape. It's got to go somewhere. So it goes up to make our crystal ball. And then eventually, it can't be contained any longer. And it goes Wait. Boom. splat. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. So uh, one way that you could change up this experiment is instead of Putting the uh, whoop, putting it over like that, you could just drop some soap yeah, right on that. in. Let's see what happens there. All right, let's see what happens here. Got a nice amount of it going. All right, got a bunch of soap. Whoa! Ah and so it's making all these little bubbles, mm -hmm. kind of like what we were doing, just sort of. And watch smaller. what happens when you break them. Oh. You can see that carbon dioxide and water vapor fog that's coming right on out of those bubbles. That's Very pretty nice. fun. Maybe you guys at home can think of other ways to change up this experiment. What if you used a liquid other than water? 
What if you used a different size vessel? Maybe you use one with a wider opening or a narrower or opening. Or a bucket or something. Or a like bucket, that. Yeah, yeah, that would be really cool. Or a bowl. Right. So maybe you guys can try that out at home. You got a lot in there. Oh, yeah. Well, you put a ton of soap in I there. Did. That's what happens. And we got a ton of carbon dioxide still going. Although, if you look at our chunk of carbon dioxide, it's actually now covered in a layer of water ice because it's so cold that it's frozen the water around it into a shell. So the rate of our carbon dioxide coming out is slowing down a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah. We could, but we could always put in some more carbon dioxide juice up that reaction. All right. Well, that was great. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching this month's experiment, and we look forward to seeing you next month. And remember, do, do try, try this, this at home. home.